Cone Bone Wa, good evening, Vault Dwellers. It is I, Logan, my Titan, and welcome to episode. Oh no. Uh oh. Naughty Naughty episode 69. Oh yeah. I'm gonna do my best to uh, be as mature as humanly possible, but we are on episode 69. Oh yes. Episode 69 of Blind, Death, and Dumb. Fault 76, blind, death, and dumb, blind. Complete basic training. Go to... Alright, so we are at the camp. I just recognize that. Blind, because I've been playing this blind for a little bit over a year now. Death, because, well, I do die. Not as much as I used to. I've gotten a lot better. And dumb, because, well, aren't we all sometimes? We are here at the camp to get some basic training because we went through the asylum in the previous episode and thought that was going to be it. And it was like, no, you need to get training. I'm already a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. What do I need to get training for? But apparently I need to get training. And this is where we're getting training. I've never been here before. Don't really know what to expect. So... So far, nothing. Which doesn't seem right. There's always something. So it makes me think they're going to just spawn in some shenanigans. Camp McClintock has been training U.S. soldiers. U.S. Army soldiers for five glorious years. You, class, are the last graduates taught by honest-to-goodness human drill sergeants. Go out there and show them that the old ways are the good ways. I want you to... If I may interject, Sergeant, that'll be all. Thank you, thank you. I want to say, as your governor, I am enormously proud of all of Appalachia's sons and daughters today that are graduating. And I want to say the future of Appalachia is going to be even brighter as we bring in a new age of automation to train new soldiers for the fronts faster and more efficiently. But today and tonight is yours to celebrate. Thank you. Okay. Don't know why the governor jumped in uh, there. There is a friendly. It's a beautiful storm we have going in. There's a friendly human being In that building over there. So, what the heck? Marksmanship Training Terminal. I feel like this quest has totally gone off the rails. <laughs> it was the Raider Robot Roses stuff. We finished that up. And then it went directly into Abby stuff. Which had to do with, like... Science and setting up things to detect the Scorched. And then somehow it, like, jumped. And now we're doing, like this Brotherhood of Steel quest and uh El Duderino I think it was I don't think it was El, El uh, Duderino I'm trying to remember who it was somebody just recently had given me a tip I think it was um yeah it was uh Davian Velasquez Davian, Davian Velasquez had given me a tip about that you needed to be a member of the Brotherhood of Steel, and that he was confused too because I, I am. I'm almost at the end of the Brotherhood of Steel storyline. So thank you for that, Davian, because I, I started to think I was, I was going crazy. But yeah, there's 100% a friendly person in there. So we're gonna go in and talk to him. And what is this? An obstacle course? Oh my God! So they're really gonna make me do training. To get into a Brotherhood of Steel base when I'm already a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. Okay, let's do it. Are there several friendlies in here? Who am I talking to? Am I talking hey. to you? Whoa, golly, uh, Sivvy, uh, this is army property, so. Oh, wait. Are you a soldier? A real soldier? There are no more soldiers, son. The war got the last one. That's right, kid. I've seen more combat than you can imagine. 
I bet you could saw a saw. <laughs> that wasn't even close. I bet you could suck a golf ball through a garden hose. All right. You grab astic pieces of amphibious trash. That's right, kid. I've seen more comet than you can imagine. Wow! I can't believe I'm. I mean, uh, Private Cray, reporting for duty, sir, was my first assignment. I'm ready for it. I know I am. This is a supply requisition recruit. Hand over what you got. In order to move out, I order you to move on to the laceline recruit. Oh, no, we're trying to kill him. Drop and give me 20. I've got, I'm not going to order you around. Answer some questions. Let's ask some, some questions. Okay. Um, which question exactly? How is Camp McClintock holding up? What's your background, recruit? Why do you want to join the army so badly? My whole family's in the army. Well, they were. Before the war. We've had family in the army since 1776. It's a tradition. And besides the Reds, those bombs. Who wouldn't want to join up after what they did to this country? Not to mention all the other dangerous stuff out there. I hate those long pauses after dialogue. Alright, how is the camp holding up? The camp's in tip-top shape, sir! Well, the important bits. We have uniforms, weapons, ammunition, and then there's the training course. It works! I did it! Well, most of it. Okay, some of it. But it's automated, and it does work. You can run, jump, shoot. Oh, the rifle range is great. Though it doesn't teach you how to unjam a firearm. Most of all, it's safe. Unlike out there. What's your background, buckaroo? Me? Private Joe Cray. Well, private in training, sir. I came up from Virginia. East Virginia? Well, I'm from the coast. I started out a civvy, though I guess we all do. I'm not that way anymore, though. I can fight the Reds, and I'll prove it. Just as soon as I can finish that darn obstacle. I'm already super agitated about this obstacle course thing. Uh, no further questions, recruit. Understood. How about orders? Any orders? I mean... I have the strength to do it, so sure. Good grief, a supply rack? Well, my gun's jammed, and I'm not about to give up my uniform, so... Will this do? Sure. That works for me. I kind of want to see him do push-ups. Oh, I know this one! Uh, but, um... <laughs> could I maybe get to that tomorrow? All this drilling has really worn me down. Rifles are heavier than I thought. Alright, bummer. I'll be going now. Roger! I'll hold down the fort. Camp. Whatever. Sir! Alright, that was... This, for some reason... Hi again! Everything's fine here. Oh my Sergeant god. Sergeant and I are fine. I think it's perfect uh, segue to talk about the drink of the episode. This episode is not sponsored by Coca-Cola Ultimate. Yes, Coca-Cola Ultimate. It's XP flavored. It's one of their creations. I've had every single one of their creations except for one. I also have the uh, zero sugar version of this. I've not tried that yet. Alright, so I, it's going to make me do the obstacle course, and this is probably going to make me angry. Like, re for real, real anger, but we'll see. I did the fire... Fire... I keep on... I can't remember what it's... The fire breathers? One without too much of a problem, so hopefully this is not... A, is similar to that. Alright, so we have a quartermaster gutsy. We don't want to piss him off. But yeah, the Coca-Cola Ultimate says it's XP flavored. You heard that right. XP flavored. It has something to do with League of Legends or something something like that. I don't know. It's not bad. Most of the creations are disgusting. Because I still have them. I have Move. I have... There was the Marshmallow one. I can't remember the other ones. But th th they were all terrible. This, this is palatable. Alright. This place is not secure in the least. There's doors... Open all over the place. If I needed military fatigues, I could get them here. 
All right, so I need to go upstairs. Is it still dangerous out there? Yes. Oh, okay. Some good stuff. This is way more better stuff than usual. Overseer's log. Camp McClintock. Whew. Maybe I'm going crazy. But it was nice to put on the uniform and play pretend with a bunch of robot drill sergeants. I actually think I learned a thing or two about marksmanship. I wonder, now that I'm in the army, is my official title Overseer Private or Private Overseer? <laughs> oh, time to see if I can fool a few automated identification systems. All right, do have three markers downstairs, but I only saw one robot in the in the in the kid. So, hello. All right, you're who I'm talking to. I just didn't get there yet. Sergeant, Master Sergeant Gutsy. Is he gonna say funny things? I feel like he's gonna say funny things. Can I can I rob you? Right in front of you? I can't, because I don't have lockpicking on still. I can do that. What's this? The Herald supports Quinn Carter. Alright, that's not super exciting or terribly relevant to uh, what we're doing here. So I can do this. Let's do this before I talk to him and see what's in here. What? Host? Could be host. Jesus. Could it be bear? Yes, it could be bear. Woohoo! Monthly training reports. Training reports. Training reports. Training reports. Training report, May 20, 2077, Sergeant O'Malley, the lustrous asshats that we call leadership in our fine organization have proclaimed from on high that my role as senior drill instructor is no longer necessary. I have been informed that these worthless maggots will instead be molded into productive members of society by these tin can poop boxes. They're calling Mr. Gutsy. Unbelievable. I assume, as any sane man would, that these things... We're here to clean my shoes and kill vermin inside the campgrounds. Instead of, instead, my orders are to train these worthless, effing, glorified vacuum cleaners how to do my job. As instructed, I'll provide a monthly report of these futile efforts to my superiors. It will be, they will be short and with the minimum amount of detail to secure my goddamn pension. That's funny. Training report. 20, June 27, so a month later, Sergeant Amount. I have to admit, I didn't think I was going to be surprised by the results of the first training session with this robot. They have balls to call a drill sergeant, but I was. I was absolutely effing shocked at how much more completely effing incompetent these toasters were than I imagined in my wildest effing dreams. Let me provide a br brief executive summary of this month's events. First off, I'm pretty sure they cannot traverse upstairs of any kind of a steep incline. One of them reverted to some old code and started landscaping the grounds. What's worse is they were effing terrible at it. These things refuse to ever shut the hell up. If one of them calls me a commie loving bastard one more time, I'll forcibly disassemble it with my service rifle. During a basic live fire exercise, one of them accidentally killed Private Adams with about 17 straight rounds. So I guess you'd pr better train these Poop heaps to fill out paperwork too. Is that enough? Certainly is for me. Alright, one month later, July 2077, training a POS machine to effectively communicate with the worthless group of scumbags recalling recruits is a royal waste of time. Whoever thought they could ever match the eloquence and efficiency of a trained USAF officer was sorely mistaken. All they're capable of is shouting canned phrases in a ridiculous voice that and threatened recruits if they fail to comply. Private Taylor neglected to make his rack yesterday and one of those damn things nearly burned the barracks down. 
Is it truly necessary then to be equipped with the goddamn flamethrowers? <laughs> oh my god. This is funny. August 2077. Against my strongest recommendation, I have been informed that the transition to fully automated Cat McClintock is now complete after only four months of training. In layman's terms, this means that we're all completely effed. Our best and brightest will be led into hell's fiery butthole by these metal death balls. The only saving grace is this uh, in this colossal f up is I won't be here when the poop hits the fan. I'm getting my wife and kid the hell out of here. Maybe apply for one of those vaults I've heard about. Something tells me we'll be needing them. All right, that was fun. I enjoyed that. I mean, there's literally nothing in there I want. So, all right, Master Sergeant Gutsy. Great. Off to a great start. Oh, what in the world? That was, uh, that was something. I'm going to take this bowl of water while I'm here. What do we got? The uniform disbursement log. Read. Name Lawrence Jackson. Barracks Alpha. Voucher collected. Uniform issued. Alright. I don't know. That helped me with anything? Okay, so this is supposed to give me a uniform. It it did not get it did not or I could just pick up this helmet over here, I'm guessing. Then there was I saw a suit. Back over here. So I literally I had to take off my stealth armor to put this nonsense on. Are you friendly? All right, he's friendly. I can't. Oh my god. So I can't even wear my my gear. Still waiting on some orders, sir. Reasonable orders. And... Oh my god, giant fetus just scared the bejesus out of me. Why you gotta do me like that, giant fetus? <laughs> oh my god. Gotta love a giant fetus. Alright. He's not doing this mission while I'm doing this mission, is he? Because that's really gonna mess me up. Hi again. Everything's fine here. Sarge and I are fine. Alright. Search the barracks for private archers uniform voucher. Where are the barracks? Does anybody know where the barracks are? Are these the barracks? Giant fetus is just standing here. I don't know what he's doing. Alright, these are the barracks. Uniform voucher. There we go. That was super easy. I mean, I already picked up the suit and the helmet. That was silly. They could do one or the other. Uniform issued. And they, oh, give me dirty stuff too, Jesus Lord! All right. Oh my God. Put on my outfit. Food and water is pretty good. I did not get. That means I have to take off my Bosch knock mask. Does it have to be those?
It can't be the military fatigues. It has to be the... Oh, my God. Okay. There we go. Let's see how ridiculous I look. I absolutely hate it. I'm not... I'm not... G.I. Joe. Oh, God. All right, here you go. Now that's what I like to see. All dolled up and ready to die for your country. There are three training exercises you'll need to complete. Marksmanship, agility, and patriotism. Our courses, like all things in the great territory of Appalachia, are automated. So you overpromoted mammals can do the mess you see fit. Complete the courses to my satisfaction, and we'll get you moved on to the real test. Dismissed! Oh my god. So that's not the, the, the real test. It's not. Doing the... Oh, Jesus Lord. Alright. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not excited about the marksman test, but let's... Let's take a look and see. Excuse me. Okay. When given, the signal shoot all the targets as quickly as possible. Passing time 30 seconds or less, all cadets must check in with the Master Sergeant in a minute building before starting the exercise. Alright, Jesus. Let's try this one, I guess. Actually, even shooting them. What's left? I can't tell if I'm actually shooting them or not. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> Oh my god. How many targets are there? It's not even acting like I'm shooting them when I'm shooting them. Like, I can't tell if I'm hitting them. Like, I, I should definitely be hitting them. I see one, two... One, two, three, four... Five... Six, seven, eight. There's only eight targets. This shouldn't, this shouldn't be that hard. Right? I'm not crazy. One, two, three, four. Boom, 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 boom. And then I shift over here. And go. One, two, three, four. Right? Try one more time. Lock and load, cadet. Time to take those targets to school.
two, one. My zoom is not working. Come on. Well, looky here. We might just have a bona fide killer in our midst. Nicely done. Now, just two more exercises to go. Throw those hail hawks in hoof mode and get moving! Alright. That was about as painful as I expected. So what's next? What other annoying stuff can they make me do? Complete the agility training course. How many times is it going to take me to pass this now? Get on your dancing shoes, Stinson. You're stepping onto my agility course. You are declaring to the specified obstacles as fast as your mud kickers will carry you. Now, ready up. Where am I starting? Here? The, oh my god, I think I was supposed to hit the one at the beginning. Okay. So I just had to run around and hit all these things. Is that his way of saying that I didn't pass the other one? Where am I going now? Here? Please jump over that. Thank you. I don't know if I'm doing any of this right. Well, what? What? What else is there? <laughs> what? Oh, that sucks. No, no, no! Back to the beginning! Do it again! Alright, we'll try one more time. I'm guessing because I messed up in the beginning, that's the only thing I can figure. Because I feel like I did everything else right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go, go! Okay. Oh my god. I did it the first time, no problem.
This is super annoying. The part that's the most annoying is that it's not telling me if I'm actually completing them or not. So I'm, I'm not 100% sure if I'm even still going. Like, there's not a... What you call it on this? So am I still... Did I already fail? Yeah, because it's saying where. Why are you telling me that I'm supposed to be all the way over here? The hell? I don't understand. Oh, because I want... Oh my god, because it wants me to go underneath. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, well I'm not gonna... No, we're not doing this again. I'll do this. <laughs> I'll do this later. Okay, so where is the other test? This is so ridiculous. Absolutely, positively, bizarrely ridiculous. Alright, what do we got here? Patriotism Training Terminal. Jimmy Topher and... Juan Jung have been ac uh, accused of uh, supporting collective action, a gateway drug to communism. Talk to the suspected traitors, search their rooms, and collect evidence to uncover the budding communists. To pass, collect evidence of which boy is the budding communist. No, all cadets must check in. Okay, yeah. Please don't make this time. Being able to step out of commie could be the difference between life and death for you and your family. Interrogate the three subjects and search their quarters. Once you found evidence of the red, return to the terminal to make your accusation. Alright, nothing there, so I guess it's just, I just have to listen. This area is way different from San Francisco. The winters are so cold. Uh. This country gave my family a fresh start. Okay. Someday, I'm gonna own my own car, or two. Was there anything else, sir, or madam? America. Okie dokie. So why am I having a feeling this is going to be like quasi racist? It requires a key. Jimmy's diary, May 2nd. Dear diary, today at school we learned about. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, FDR, to his chums, as he'd probably say, he did so much to help people in this country when they were having hard times. He used the government to try and improve people's everyday lives. What a stand-up guy. If he alive today, I asked him for an autograph or maybe to join our baseball team. Interesting. Alright, he's got bunk beds. Thought maybe the key might be under the baseball cap. All right, somebody knocked uh, Jimmy down. My favorite holiday? Well, that'd have to be the Fourth of July. That sounded like the robot Raider Rose's voice. Well, yeah, my pops in the union. Why do you ask? My terminal keeps me company while Pop is at the mine. I needed a new password, so I use the initials of someone I admire a lot. Right, so FDR. Okay. Jimmy's terminal. Keep out. Class today. Saw something in the woods. Pop was coughing again. 
In class today, Mr. Brown did a chemistry experiment where he lit a weird silvery rock on fire. It burned right through John Jung's desk. Boy, that was nifty. Later, we took a quiz, and I didn't do so good because my tummy was rumbling so much. I wish we could have breakfast like other families, but Pop says there isn't the money. After class, Mr. Brown asked me to stay, and he asked me if I'd eat anything today. I told him the truth. He gave me a piece of his sandwich and said folks like us, the working class, needed to look out after one another. I said I should come back after class tomorrow. We could talk about it some more. Saw so something in the woods. Was in the woods looking for something to eat until Pop got home with dinner. When I saw the big creature, it was all pale and muscular and it didn't have a head. I named it Morton. <laughs> but it didn't come when I called it. I just started running off. I followed after it, but couldn't keep up. I wonder where Morton's finding so much food to get so big. Papa's coughing again. Pop's really been coughing like crazy the past couple of days, but the mind boss says he's got to work. I'm really worried about him. Mitchell said his pop's been suffering from the same thing. No more. Today I'm going to call up my friends, and we're going to get all of our pops to take the day off together. Maybe after that, maybe the day after that, too. We'll show these mind bosses that they can't push us around. The workers aren't just pawns in their capitalist scheme. We're going to organize a strike. All right, so I guess uh, Jimmy's the uh, the bad one. That was interesting that the printer started printing out, but then there's not actually anything to take. From the printer printing out. So we'll do the last thing just for, for a lore, lore... Oh, I can't even do the last one for a lore point of view. Or can I? It's not asking me to. He's got cigarettes. That's a little weird. My ancestors came over on the Mayflower. Well, la-dee-da. I work at my neighborhood soda counter. Though I'd love a raise. Mm. Now, where'd my diary get to? That's about all I gotta say on the subject. Alright, so where's his diary? Alright, well... I mean, it's Jimmy, so... Impressive work, Cadet. We'll have you putting collectivists in chains faster than a red can cry. Cripes, are those chains? <laughs> You've got just one more course to clear. Move out! All right. So yeah, the knucklehead, knucklehead obstacle course. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna take a closer look at it. So it's gonna start here. Boom, we go. Boom. Then we come here. Boom. Hop, hop over here, boom. Come here, boom, and then I was hopping across the top. That's not what we we're supposed to do, boom. Then here, try not to fall off like I just did. I feel like this is something that they should make you do like early on. All right, I mean you get the idea. You come down here, boom, 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 boom. boom. I mean, I pretty much had it the first time. I just did that one obstacle wrong. Alright, we'll try one more time. If not, then we're just going to switch to a different quest for the rest of this episode. You know the drill, twinkle toes. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Again, why is there it is? Like, why did it take a second before it popped up? We should be fine unless something extremely out of the ordinary occurs. Last one. Get up there. You just had to like do them the right way. And then there's not a problem. I just wasn't doing them the right way. Not bad, cadet. Not bad at all. You made it. Now that you can walk, talk, and shoot. Oh my god, I'm still not done. He did say there was going to be another one. Oh god almighty. Well, why does why does 76 hate me? But yeah, this would make way more sense if you were doing this early on. Like this was the early thing that sort of like I don't know, not teach you how to play, not a tutorial, but just to like Get you into uh, figuring out how to play a little bit better. All right, live fire exercise loaded, not loaded correctly. All right, let's do it. Warning: Cadets are not advised to attempt this exercise without support. This course was designed to prep cadets in the event of actual communist invasion using uncannily accurate mechanical representations to pass eliminate the communist menace note cadets must complete their marksmanship agility and patriotism training before attempting this exercise cadets can register with the master sergeant in the admin building begin course all right so where 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 is Oh, it's over here. So who's who am I fighting? Heads on swivel, cadets. Sounds like there's commies coming for you. Put them down. All right. Where are they? I'm in danger already. But I Identify yourself Oh, robots. Ah. Alright, so you see it. Again, I'm pushing to the right to use a stim pack. <laughs> oh my god and it's it's acting like I'm pushing up I 100% am not pushing up I am 100% pushing to
to the right to use a stim pack. Oh my god. Also, can I put on my stealth armor now? Is it going to make me start it all over again? Alright, well now I know it's robots, and I know that they're like coming out from pods. Yeah. Alright, no, so that immediately started it again? Alright, is he one? No. He's not one. Alright, well, if they could all be there waiting for me, that would be great. This is working much better for me. I don't know what happened to the iBot. Cool, cool. Somebody else went down. Looks like we only have one more. And I can get my stuff back. Oh my god, there's gonna be more? That's super annoying. Okay. So there's going to be more. Alright, so... So he's gone. So how many waves of nonsense am I going to have to take on here? Alright, see the eye bot. Eye bot's taken care of. Wait, what? Where'd they come from? What? There we go. Impact. Warning. Hostiles in area. All right, this is going much better. Sorry, I do get quiet. One more to go, and gents. Yeah, I'm concerned. And I'm concerned about this. Is something big going to come out of there?
me. It keeps me protectrons. I'm not super worried about that. Pack. So what I'm doing now is when I'm pushing, I'm also making sure that I'm pushing kind of down. So I'm not just pushing to the right, but I'm pushing like basically to the right and down. And that's, that's making the stim packs work. Alright, I really would like to take out the... Uh, yeah, him. He's a little fast for my liking. Well, it's nothing like me bringing the death, the blind, death, and dumb. <laughs> and there was definitely, I definitely brought some dumb to that too. But were you finished? Yay. Alright, so let's go get our... Whatever we're going to get. Let's put my Foshnock mask back on too. Yeah, because I still have that on. No, thank you. Oh, wait. He's going to want me to have it, isn't he? All right, fine. I'll put it back on until I finish. Talking to the sergeant. Master sergeant. Wonder if giant fetus is still hanging around. He probably could have flew through this course a lot faster than me, considering he was a giant fetus. Soldier's Certificate. Oh my god. <laughs> That's not enough. That is not enough. That is not... I need a government-issued ID. What am I going to go? To the DMV? To the MVC? Come on. The hell? Where is that... Where is that guy? Where is he? I wanted to see if he had any different dialogue now. Probably not. Because a lot of NPCs are super bland and they just... It's like the fire breather chick didn't have any new uh, dialogue when I uh, completed the fire breather training. Alright, so where am I going? Oh my god. Are you... Back to the... Capitol building again? Back to the Capitol building again. I'm going back to the Capitol building again. Yep. Yep, I am. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just 
back to the Capitol building again. Okay. I don't even... Sure. This quest just keeps on giving. This is, this is, you know, yesterday was the 4th of July. It shouldn't be the 4th of July. It should be Thanksgiving. Because they just, it just keeps giving and giving. Can I, can I, can I even just get over there? No, because I'm already almost being detected by somebody. By whom? Is there somebody behind me? Oh my god. From who? From the dude that just fell out of the building? Oh. Oh, hello. He's fighting somebody else. I don't know who. Oh no. No, he could you could keep fighting whoever else is over there. You don't have to come over here to see me. Nope. Nope. No thank you. Where'd he go? Didn't I fight him last time I was here? He's gonna throw some poop at me. How is that not a pop pop? Okay. Well. <clears throat> oh my goodness. That hurt me way more. Way more than I thought it was gonna. Sticky tar. This is like the third or the fourth time that this quest has sent me to this building. Like how many times? Pop, pop. How many times? Do I have to keep coming back to this same building? I just... My mind is boggled that they would have me come back here again. This is so recent to when I had to come back here not that long ago. Not even that much time has passed. Why is there a super mutant over here? How did that headshot miss? He seems super confused. He's a super confused mutant. Again. I was expecting Scorched. I get super mutants. And then I'm going to get into this building. And I've died in this building. Alright, we're going in a different way. We're going in out here. Okay, so that's a little different. What is that? What is that? 
Where are you? A blood sack. Oh, okay. Yeah, when I went in here previously, it was over, like, over in the other area. Um. Okay. So. We all, we're all chill? We're all friends in here? I, I thought that said DMV bitch. I... <laughs> <laughs> That's why I had to look back at it. I was like, excuse me? I saw the B, the T, the, the H. Customer service is our priority. Please choose uh, from uh, what form you want to fill out so some of our friendly world personnel can better assist you. Okay. Please provide full legal <laughs> legal given name. Private parts. Oh my god. Just enter my name. I am a uh, army recruit. I guess. Encyclopedia salesman. Pre please provide your uh, current address. Um... I mean, we're not Vault 76. Turn in ID application to Department B. Okay. So they're literally, like, sim making me sim the DMV. Hello. DMV bot C1. Patrons are required to take a number and wait for the automated number terminal to call their number before being serviced. Have a nice day. You know, I'm still deciding whether or not I like this game. <laughs> and, um... Okay, so... Oh my god. Keep the number calling system operation at all times. In no circumstances is the operator allowed to modify, alter, speed up, slow down, or any way alter the system. Any such activity will result in immediate termination and arrest. Oh my god. Please switch to the other gun. Please switch to the other gun. Okay. That was super special that they set me up like that. Tell me that they're not trolling me. Please. Please tell me that they're not trolling me. Oh my god. More are coming. Oh my god. Oh my god, through the wall. I 
I don't even. Oh my god. Could we not? Could we? Could we not? <laughs> what is this? What is this? We haven't fun yet? What? Why? Why? Why are why are they getting so many hits in on me? He's got no arm. Yeah, reload. Good good plan. Good plan. Completely missed. Completely miss. Oh my god. That that was that wasn't even enough. Can we heal all the way, please? Thank you. That was, I don't know, I, I, I'm gonna have to watch replay and see, did I just die like eight times? <laughs> I feel like I just died like eight times in a row. How are they gonna? Bravo, 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 fall 76. DMV AT 21C. Form identified. Scanning, processing, continued processing. Proof of Charleston. Residency required. Mail must have a valid U.S. Postal Service postmark. Have a nice day. Greetings, C-42. DMV AT-21C. Form identified. Scanning. Processing. Continued processing. Proof of Charleston. Residency required. Mail must have a valid U.S. Postal Service postmark. Have a nice day. I really... I really want to kill this robot. Valid mail required to proceed with Really, function. really want to kill this robot. Please wait for your number to be called. Now I have to go get mail. I have to go get mail now. I just died like eight times because they kept throwing ghouls at me so quickly I couldn't even get in to take a rad X to heal myself. Oh, uh, excuse me, right away to heal myself? I mean, it could have popped a rad X too. That might have helped. But no. But no, no, no. No. I had to keep getting uh, uh, attacked over and over and over and over and over again. Where am I going to get mail? This is just absolutely ridiculous. Do I do I do I still I still have Oh my god, I still have Well, that's part of the problem. 
I had on stuff that was not offering me any protection at all. Oh wow, that's why I was dying so quickly. Because they made me put on that nonsense. Now it's my fault, I didn't take it off. But still. Alright. Reload all my weapons. So is this going to be like that other mission where when I finish, it's going to give me like... I literally got a broken toilet as a reward. Is this going to give me like, like a piece of poop as a reward? So it made me... Oh my god, it just made me leave and walk like 30... Look at this! That was probably the most successful grenade I've ever thrown. Like, how many did I just take out? Three? That was impressive. That was a great grenade throw. And they purposely put... I don't know where the other one ran to. Purposely put five ghouls right in my path. What is going on? What? Ooh, why is the sky blue? What else is this game going to throw at me? Is it going to throw 50 more ghouls at me while I'm in here? C-42. Male identified. Scanning. Scanning. 1203 Grape Street. Does not match address on DMV AT-21C. Mr. Resident. Acquire DMV AT-21C dash V. Authorization from Charleston Courthouse. Have a nice day. Wasn't well, that what I got from over here? Oh my god. Now it's going to make me explore through this building. Clearly I learn. Keep getting trapped in corners with ghouls. Masterful plans. Oh my god. I guess it's good I have so many... <laughs> so many stim packs.
Jesus Lord Almighty. And it's a legendary. And of course he's not alone. I just get to <laughs> can I just get the DMV form that I'm trying to get please and thank you This is, this should forever be known from the beginning, from now on, as the DMV quest line. Because that's, that's what this is. The entire, this entire quest line has been just a huge troll. Greetings, C-42. DMV AT-21C-V. Recognized. Processing. Processing. All required paperwork for ID renewal is in order. Error. Department B is for renewals only. Department C is designated for new IDs. Have a nice day. It told me to go to you, though. I'm shooting both these robots when we're done. Greetings. Department C requires patron to requeue to be helped. Grab a new number and wait in our well-appointed lobby until it is called. Have a nice day. If I get attacked by more ghouls while I'm waiting, I'm, I'm going to be very annoyed. Jesus Lord, I got I from the wrong Please printer. Wait for your number to be called. Have a nice day. Look at this nonsense. Look at this. Look at this just absolute nonsense. Alright, here we go. Here we go again. Here we go again. Oh my, an assassin's rolling pin. You son of a bitch. An assassin's mf and rolling pin. I'll turn that some bitch sideways and stick it up your ass. 
Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Take out your gun, please. My gun is out. Hate you. Okay. Why is it making me go over to the computer again? Why? Why am I going over to the computer again? Why? I've done both of these. Department C is currently busy. Mandatory second coffee break in progress. Ending in five, four, three, two, one. Coffee break terminated. Reinitialize query. DMV AT21C. And associated paperwork identified. A3. Scanning, scanning, error ID, 34B, forward slash 1, valid birth certificate required. Consult the helpful error assistance entries on the application terminal. Have a nice day. If I could throw 76 across the room... I'm pretty sure I would. 34B1. I'm not, I'm I have to get the governor's seal. I have to I have to get the governor's seal. I don't have a birth certificate. I don't... I don't think I like this game anymore. <laughs> or, more specifically, I don't like this part of this game anymore. I really want this quest to be over. I can understand... why... People may have hated this game when this was the only quest lines there were. Because I, I don't, I don't, I don't. How is this fun? How is this fun? Is this, is this fun? Am, am I missing the fun? In this? I mean, I've been through this building once. I've been through this building twice. And here I am again, going through this building Again, for the just nonsense. Somebody's almost detecting me. How and where is somebody almost detecting me? How and where? Where are they? I've died in this building. And almost died in this building, like more than anywhere else in this entire game. So it's gonna make me go, look at this, just utter ridiculous nonsense.
So let's not start. No, here we go. Here we go. Here comes another big boy. I don't know how he can go 90 miles an hour. Doesn't make any damn sense at all, but here he comes running at me, chubby boy. Oh my god. Office of the President Governor Evans, the President and the Secretary of Defense would like to extend their thanks for your continued support of our armed forces, keeping the supply of steel, coal, and other materials vital to the war effort flowing smoothly in the responsibility is the responsibility of every freedom-loving American and liberation and the liberation of Anchorage would not have been possible without them. Several cabinet members have expressed admiration for the economic policies you have put in place that have allowed for such leaps in automation and the expediency with which you have quelled dissent. We would like to extend a formal invitation to you as well as other political and industrial leaders from the region to a summit that is being organized to discuss how such technology can be spread. Sincerely, looks like it says DL, Office of the President. Can I just take it? Yes, I know I have radworms. Have I read the governor's terminal? Governor Evans, I thought we had a clear understanding that you would keep the wolves from our doors. The damages to our home and property are extensive, not to mention the emotional distress at our duly elected officials being unable to maintain safety. We'll be having a long talk with our accounting department over the coming weeks, and it would be a shame if we had to look at making cuts to keep public contributions or reallocating those funds to areas that could better protect our interests. Hoping not to disappoint further, not to be disappointed further, Penelope Hornwright, Hornwright Industrial. Capital Mail Relay. Can't reach DC, Treasury called another mayor in Watoga, Grafton Steel, can't reach DC. Governor Evans, where the hell are you? The bombs have fallen. There is panic in the streets and no one on your staff has any idea if you are on Charleston or not. The government is in shambles. That dimwit pool is running around acting like she is in charge of the provisional council and our first responders are barely even pretending to follow our orders. If you slink back in here at least to have the DC to go over executive authority before you go running off. Holbrook. Treasury called. Sir, the treasurer called and said she needs to talk to you about some inconsistencies they are seeing between the budget allocations and expenditure reports. It looks like you should have a couple open times on Wednesday. Should I pencil something in? Maggie. Another mayor of Watoga? The new mayor of Watoga called while we were out. No, I didn't get his name. I've stopped bothering to remember them at this point. No one called asking for you to not cancel the order to send the National Guard to evict the squatters at Bogtown. That... Last mayor was an idiot, and we need to get those filthy beggars away from our town. Maggie. Grafton Steel. What are you thinking? You can't let them keep operating that mill? You have to see what's coming out there. You're going to kill any chance of tourism in Northern Valley with that ash. Now they don't have manufacturing or tourism. If you thought the worker rides were bad before, they'll be out there thick as fleas on the dog's back. Fix this pool. Personal logs. Travel schedule, campaign contributions, state budget allocation, travel schedule. Nothing. 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 Thanks for the lore, 76. Alright, can I make it back where I came from? Without running into a thousand ghouls. Is that possible? Because I would love to be able to do this. What could possibly be next? A blood sample?
I can't. I can't think of anything else. This has to be it. Department C is currently busy. Mandatory second coffee break in progress. Ending you, in five. You just had your four, mandatory second coffee break, God damn it. Two. One. Coffee break terminated. Reinitialize query. DMV A T two one C and associated paperwork identified. A three. Scanning. Scanning. Error ID. 34B. Forward slash 1. Valid birth certificate required. Consult the helpful error assistance entries on the application terminal. Have a nice day. Greetings. A3. Paperwork identified. Scanning. Scanning. Everything is in order. Proceed to the photography station to receive your government ID card. Have a nice day. Please wait for your number to be called. Alright, so I'm done in here. I can't attack Please them? Wait for your number to be called. Are you serious? I've never even tried. Oh, come on. That's I'm I'm flustered now. That's super annoying. Alright. That's enough. <laughs> I'm tapping out. I submit. 76 wins. This has been this has been rough. And if it's been rough for you, my most sincerest apologies. I don't I don't know what they're I don't know what they were thinking. I do not know what they were thinking with this. I, d I don't I don't get it. I don't get why why they would have made it like this. So yeah, so now I'm going back to Fort Defiance. I'm not going to uh I'm not going to do that though. I'm going to go to I'm going to go to my camp for now so that way um we can wrap this up and do uh some in between episode in, in I can't even talk in between episode stuff in between episodes cuz that's what I do in between episode stuff. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Woo! Um, the plan is, for the future, to have new episodes of 76 up Mondays, and then everything kind of go from there. So, Mondays would be 76, and then everything in the order that they've been coming out in. Um. Man, I still can't believe it. Please stop talking about it. And that way I'll be putting out something Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with Saturdays and Sunday off. So all five of my series coming out during the five days of the week. The weekdays. I am Loki the Mad Titan. This has been it's been a it's been a special episode. It was it was episode sixty nine. It still is episode sixty nine, and it was definitely special. Not in the way I expected it to be special, but this was episode 69 of Fall 76. Blind, death, one. and hope. dumb. Yes, please stop talking to me. I'm trying to do my outro. I'll go outside because you're bugging me. With all that being said, I bid you adieu, goodbye, and good night, Vault Dwellers. Thank you. He's following me. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a good night.